Welcome to the Ladies European Tour. This week we're in Abu Dhabi at the Sadiat Beach Golf Club for the 2016 Fatima Bint Mubarak Ladies Open. It's the first time a ladies golf tournament has been held in the city and it's named after Her Highness Sheikha Fatima Bint Mubarak. There was a surprise leader on day one, rookie Olafir Christian Stotter. The 24-year-old Icelander fired eight birdies and just a single bogey in a round of seven under. It was a round she would dedicate to her aunt, who succumbed to cancer the day before the tournament. Georgia Hall was in imperious form. She shot a course record 64. Eight birdies and not a single bogey on the card left her in a share of second spot at 10 under. Olafir Christian Stotter not only remained in front, but stretched her lead, showing no nerves the Icelander was red hot. How about this at the 13th? It helped her to a round of 66. No wonder she was smiling. But out ahead was Georgia Hall. The 20-year-old from Bournemouth followed up on her round of eight under on day two with a 67. This, but at the 16th, was her third birdie in a row. She closed with a one-shot lead, 15 under. Beth Allen began the day two behind, but moved level with Hall at the top at the 10th with her fifth birdie of the day, thanks to this approach. Both were 18 under, two ahead of Sarah Kemp and Mel Reed. Hall was producing great golf. The 20-year-old just kept rolling them home. This at the 11th put her 19 under and level with Allen at the top of the leaderboard after Allen also birdied the same hole. And Hall continued to be at her pin-seeking best at the 13th. This set up her fifth birdie of the day. 20 under, and she had a two-shot lead over Allen after the American bogeyed the 14th. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mel Reed also produced the goods at the 13th. The English woman would go on to post a 68 with some superb golf, enough for a share of third spot. Hall, meanwhile, had her sights set higher, but got into trouble at the 14th. She found the rough near the bunker with her drive before ending up in the sand with her recovery shot. She would make bogey. And Allen took full advantage. This birdie moved her level with Hall at the 15th, both 19 under par. Sarah Kemp never quite went low enough on the final day to challenge. She would close with a 69 and share third with Mel Reed. <music> Meanwhile, Allen in the penultimate group had the momentum. This approach at the 16th meant there would be yet another birdie on the card. Allen now 20 under with two to play. And Hall's challenge effectively ended when she reached the 16th. Her tee shot found a cavernous bunker. She'd have to chip out and take another bogey. Back to 18 under. Allen then ended any realistic chance of Hall recovering over the last two holes with a tee shot from the very top draw at the par 3 17th. Eight under for the day, 21 under overall. With Hall parlaying the 17th and with a three-shot lead, Allen then had few worries as she stood over her birdie putt at the last. If it dropped, it would have been a new course record. It didn't, but it hardly mattered. She tapped in for a final day 64, 21 under overall for her second title of the season. There was a warm embrace with her caddy, the former Solheim Cup player, Sophie Gustafsson. Allen's win puts her top of the order of merit. Hall took second with rookie Angel Yin once again impressing with a fifth place finish. But it was all about Beth Allen, the 2016 Fatima Bint Mubarak Ladies Open Champion. <laughs>